Hey guys, um, so I'm making this video because I wanted to let everyone know that when you see these posts and you see these truth come out, um, I went through something a long time ago. It was years ago, I remember. I've been doing research on all this like, you know, satanic, elite pedophilia and like all of these people and what they do and you know, like child trafficking and all the kids going missing. I was doing that research a long time ago and what it did when I did it, it was so people think a spiritual awakening is just spiritual no it's actually finding out the truth about things and really exploring the shadow side of this earth that we are right now in in this dimension but i will tell you something i will tell you do not let it overpower you do not let it scare you and do not let it put fear in your heart the point is to know it's there to know it's happening to be aware and to try as much as you can to spread awareness not fear there's a difference between spreading awareness and fear okay so if someone puts something out there it's not to scare you it's to show you this is what's happening but this is what the earth it does it does this so you can you can't expect to like change it overnight you can't expect but just you have to really really have faith in humanity I know it's hard because you see all these things happening and people are like oh it's the end of the world that's it no it's not it's actually just the beginning these people will be exposed all of these companies that you're buying from the big companies you know Amazon and why do you think I really don't fuck with YouTube that much because I know <clears throat> these people that become famous on YouTube you know how many YouTube stars have killed themselves do you have any idea um, Shane Dawson was uh, uh, promoting pedophilia and people he's got like 11 million followers and everybody's like I love you oh my god meanwhile he was saying a baby was sexy okay like I'm gonna tell you right now once you get into these big, big companies and you make a lot of money, I'm going to tell you right now, they will control you. Anybody who owns Amazon, uh, um, <coughs> Elon Musk, all of them, Bill Gates, they don't own themselves no more. Their companies are not theirs anymore. It becomes the systems companies and they tell them, if you don't do what we tell you to do, we're going to murk you and your whole family are going to be offed. Like, you're going to be sleeping with the fishes. So I'm just letting you guys know not to be afraid, but also be aware. So that's why I always say, support small businesses. Support each other. Stop supporting these big brand companies. Yeah, I know. We all shop at Walmart. We get our food there because it's cheaper and this and that, you know. And I understand that. I get it because I, I do it too, you know. But <clears throat> the point is to not support these companies in a way where it's like you, you think that everything that they're doing is like okay and with wayfair and everything these are all real things happening they're not the only one kate spade killed herself because she knew something see when regular ass people get into the industry and they become extra famous and rich they can't handle it so those celebrities you see that go crazy that's because their heart was too pure and they couldn't handle the industry because it was dark i know because i went through it I went through it myself and I only got a small taste of it, which is why I couldn't stay in that industry and which is why I said I can't do this because when I saw how they were using us and how they were abusing us and how they were treating us like lying, saying, oh, you're a star, we're going to make you a star and then completely using you and just throwing you away and when you're, when you're not valuable anymore, I saw and it broke me and I couldn't take it anymore and that's why I went through depression and everything I went through and I'll tell you from self experience that for those of you who are like I want to be famous I want if you want to be famous you're gonna have to do a lot to get to the fame you're gonna have to like sign your name in blood okay this is not a joke it's not a game so that's why I tell everybody stop going for materialistic aspects stop going for the need to want a lot of money to want to be rich to if you make a lot of money and you become wealthy it should be for the purpose of taking care of yourself others and helping out as many people as you can see those people who want to be rich and they just want to be rich that's what they'll get they'll get richness and they'll be completely miserable the ones who are not cold-blooded cold-hearted they will not be happy when they have the, all that money the ones who don't give a fuck and will do any will go to any amount of lengths to have power and money for them it's like a walk in the park. So what I will tell you is when you see these videos, these posts, it's not to fear anything. It's not to fear anyone. That's why I tell you, stop listening to the media. You know, all this stuff with COVID and all that. Listen, I believe strongly, strongly that something is about to be exposed. They are saying July 22nd, there's about to be some exposure. If you look in the media, in the news media, you know, Trump, Trump media, Trump, Trump also said, um, 
you know um there's child trafficking happening and the 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 reporters didn't ask him any further questions like they just dropped it okay so as um trump has been in office a lot more um child trafficking and sex trafficking people have been caught so i'm not a supporter of any person that's in politics i'm not but i will tell you don't ever always believe what you see in the media this fear mongering this hate abuse racism towards one another i will tell you right now it's not to fear it it is for you to open your eyes know it's there explore the shadow side and still have faith in humanity okay and that is the point if we don't have compassion and faith in ourselves and humanity then we just might as well give up right now but i can't do that because i believe strongly 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 that there will be a change things will get better <clears throat> and that is why i stay in the light and i stay positive however i i know the dark side happens I know it does and before I used to watch it and I swear it would make me depressed to the point where I just didn't want to. I was like why am I a part of this shitty ass world and if you feel like that it's because you're not a part of this world. You were brought here and the people that are a part of this world needing to learn lessons and they bring light workers like us here into this world to show people this is what's going on but you have to stay high in vibration. You have to be grateful. You have to be compassionate. You have to be awake. You have to be aware. Right? So to be woke can be very painful. Yes it can it is but at the end of the day you have to take that pain and turn it into a treasure for all of humanity because the thing is none of us are put here to change the world we're put here to change ourselves okay so the point is to learn lessons yourself to teach yourself because when you teach yourself ultimately the teacher becomes the student the student becomes the teacher once the student is becomes the teacher and they're in their place the 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 master disappears and then you just need yourself so it's all up to you to really really keep your vibrations high and i know you could say how but this is fucked up that's happening this happening yes it is it is happening but the point is to see it to know it's there this is what exploring your shadow self and shadow side of things is because Darkness and light must be together in order for there to be balance. Regardless of what, the darkness and the light will always have to work together here to create balance. Just like they do in other dimensions, okay? If you watch any documentaries, if, you, if you're going to do anything, go get Gaia. G-A-I-A, -A, Gaia. It's an app. It's $12 a month. You pay that for Netflix to watch garbage all the time. Go watch Gaia and you'll watch a bunch of people who interconnect with uh, with, with extra dimensional beings and they do interviews with them. And, you know, a lot of people might say that's bullshit. No, it's not. It's not because they do come down to try to help us. Remember, in the ancient times, they've been trying to guide us and help us for a long time, okay? They're trying to help humanity by making crop circles, letting us know they're here. Like, we got you your back don't worry it's gonna be okay keep your vibrations high have compassion love each other right so i'm just letting you know as hard as it seems as hard as it might be don't let fear and anxiety run your life man that is exactly the number one tool that they use to control us i will tell you right now fear is an illusion fear is false evidence appearing real so please remember that always remember that always and remember it you have to stay in the light. You have to raise your vibrations. And that means to stay positive no matter what you see, no matter what they put out there, no matter what posts and what, it is up to you to remain positive and not to give up hope and faith in humanity. Because believe me, what you see as the end, I see as just the beginning. This is a refreshment, a restart, a reboot. The earth is right now shifting into a higher dimension. And right now we are the lowest dimensional form of being. So we need to do this shift together. And that is to raise our vibrations and to keep yourself in the positive light as much as you have whatever you're going through depression anxiety all of that i've been through it i know i was on every medication and today because i meditate because i stay positive i believe i have faith and i live in the now not in the future because living in the future keeps you ang anxious living in the past keeps you depressed so you have to live for this present moment right now when you start to do these spiritual awakening as they call it opening up yourself to the higher meaning of life, realizing that these things go on. The whole point is as you do all that, it is up to you to remain in your own personal heaven in your mind. Your mind creates the scenario. It starts here. So yes, 
<clears throat> your mind will be full of a lot of information, but you have to learn how to process it and control your emotions. When you do that and you still have compassion but know how to control your emotions, you can be the warrior that you are meant to be because you won't let emotions affect your actions. Okay, because warriors, when they go to battle, they don't think, oh my God, I'm going to have to kill people today. They think I must defend my family. I must defend my children. And they just go for it because not because they're cold hard, cold blooded killers is because they learn to control their emotions and they know that this is their duty. This is their mission. So for people like myself who feel strongly that they are on a mission and the mission is to learn to teach myself and therefore just share the knowledge it's not to try to change anyone because i'm not going to change anyone unless they really want to be changed nobody will change so the point is to continue to do work on yourself not let anything fear scare you and just understand that when people like me or other people post these things, it's not to be like, oh my God, look what's going on. Be afraid. It's more like, look, this is what's going on. Just be aware. Be awoke to it. If you want to share the knowledge, that's up to you. If you're not ready for that, that's okay too. Nobody is, um, it's it's not like you're, you're not being forced to do anything you don't want to do. This is your life, your world. You create it and you decide what you want to do and what you don't want to do, okay? So I don't want you to live in fear. I want you to know that things are happening, but I also want you to remain hopeful and faithful towards humanity. That is a very important message for you all, okay? Love and light to every one of you. When you stay in the light, the darkness cannot come near you. There is nothing to fear when you remain in the light and you remain in hopefulness and faith, okay? I will tell you right now, be aware, but also don't be afraid, okay? Love and light to every one of you. Namaste. I love you all.